you see two armored fellows walk in and look start looking around. Welcome to our humble shop. Very good, I was telling you. What is the meaning of this business? It's uh, a business that sells stuff. Why is it set up near the goblins? I didn't decide it. Is this funded by the goblins? No. No. Is this in any way associated with the goblins? No. Are you arming the goblins? No. Not yet. Not yet. Business is business. Do you know, uh, it's a crime against the crown to arm the goblins. Is it? But not Bob, it's not a crime. It's a crime! I don't know, Bob. It sounds like your friend it doesn't agree with you. Bill is an idiot. Wow. Root? I, I, is it true, Bill? Yeah, I'm a bit of an idiot. No. Wow, okay. Are you two in the same position? Yeah, but he's... Shut up! Oh, even an idiot can make that position then. <laughs> Who is the ruler oh. of this land? Do you have a business license? E e Probably, yeah. Yeah, we do. Can you provide those papers, please? Sure. Did you ask that Evelyn about them? Yeah. Once behind, I start knocking on the wall. To... <laughs> Devlin. Hey, hey, June. I've got, I've got an idea. <gasps> Why don't we try to just forge something? We just I... gotta make it look official. You're, you're good at arts yeah, and crafts okay. and shit. So okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do that. Okay, we we, to we we feverishly look around for something. <laughs> you find so, Mr. Garkin, can you tell me? Can you tell us what? Can you tell me who's in charge? Well, it depends who you ask. It could be the king that owns this country, or his brother who contests the ownership of this country, or his half sister who also contests the ownership of this country, or then the duke who's the uncle of the half brother who also contests the ownership of this country. So you don't have a clear yeah, one ruler. Shiny... Things are very much in flux shiny... right now. Oh, it's a very complicated oh, political oh. landscape. Would a shining gold different. piece make this go away? That's... Are you trying to bribe an official? I don't believe she is. Where is this gold piece? Why are you I will interested? Put it on the table. He puts his gauntlets on it. I do not take bribes, I'll have you know. Who's his gauntlet? The gold piece is gone. <laughs> <laughs> it is good to see I that you see. are a righteous man who, do not who doesn't take bribes. Yes, I do not, not take you. bribes in the triple digits. Meanwhile, you find a uh, pen, ink, Paper or parchment. And Devlin. Oh. And Devlin is poking his head down at you. Uh, at us? Yes. Hey, um, so, long shot, do you happen to know if we have any documentation anywhere for the shop? I mean, it's not specific to this world, but we just kind of need something that looks good. Uh, do we have that? You don't have to talk, you can just... Why would I have documentation? I don't know. I mean, you've been to various worlds. I mean, has this never come up before? Sometimes, but normally, you know, you fireballs will deal with it. Oh, okay. So usually they choose violence. Okay, that probably would explain things. Um, okay, well, um, in that case, I suppose we are just going to have to wing it, Agent. 
I'm. I will try my best. <laughs> okay. Um. So they mentioned that it sounded like they, uh, the public guard. So just uh, write some shit about uh, by decree of the crown or something. Usually, that right. sounds official. And you know, hereby give permission to trade. Uh, yada yada yada. In yada yada yada. We don't know the name. Of anything, you so don't you literally put yada yada. Uh, uh more official like we give permission to, to start the store and I, uh well to trade uh, yeah yeah because and, yeah because it's like it's not so because it's more like an maybe we can, sorry go ahead we, we can drip a little bit of an old wax on the paper oh and oh yeah yeah that yeah. that that is some official shit right there yeah all right I I'm going to say <laughs> it's going to need to be an intelligence check followed by a sleight of hand check. That's fair, I think. <laughs> um, can Brandon be assisting <laughs> with this since both of us are not? Yeah, you have advantage on both. Uh, intelligence, straight up, right? Yep. Alright, so decent. Uh, do you want me to do the slides of hand check, Sergeon? Yeah, you can do the slide of hand. Yeah, because you but... did one, I'll do the other. Yeah, um, yeah Unfortunately, yeah. this probably won't go as well, but uh, this is with advantage as well, right, Pete? Yes. Good mm. start. That's better? Mm. Okay. So, you discussed quickly, and you come up with a lot of different terms that sound quite important, and sound just about on par with what you expect to see on it. You're writing it down, and you manage to get it somewhat neat. Uh, you sprinkle some uh, wax from a candle you find on one of the counters onto it. It dribbles on a little bit, not particularly neat, but you have a little blob of wax on the oh, oh, blow oh, on oh, it oh. to try and get it to dry. <laughs> it runs a little bit, some of the ink is running a tiny bit, but you know, it looks passable. Uh... I think this is gonna have to do, John. I mean, you did well with your bit. Uh, I'm sorry, I kind of fucked this no, up. No, it's it's it, 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 it's the best we can manage, and it's okay. important. Right. Okay. So I need to put my uh, game face on now uh, and, to go back and, and down. And if it doesn't work, we can listen to the Flume's uh, advice and just. Uh, I I'd rather not be a murderer, but I suppose. Okay, cross that bridge. Shall we come to it? Let's go back downstairs. Mr. Guard, you must be hurrying all that armor. <laughs> yes, my feet are currently like two soggy cakes. It's just face. I you're really strong. Hey, um, uh, guys. Hi, um, I'm sorry. Yes, the... I shut up. Oh, okay. Well, oh, you see, wearing this armor all day is very tough. You know, they I... don't really understand the people who give out the armor just how heavy this is when you're walking all day and the agony for the ankles I don't you have padding in there we do but you have no idea how it chafes hey john yeah, it, it uh, chafes quite bad hey john could you help me out here yeah don't we have something <coughs> help us, guys We've I, I start waving the the permit, guys. I uh, I got the papers. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. He goes over towards you, takes it out your hands. That's looking it over, nodding fan, fan there, enthusiastically. Meanwhile, the quieter one goes uh, towards you, Kara. Yeah. If you're ready for that, would be great. Yeah. So that would be great. If you have anything for the chafing. Do we have anything for the shit? Do, do we? No, we don't have anything, unfortunately, like soap and mineral. We've got lots but... of clothes and stuff here. Maybe that could help. No, have a look I'm around. Al so I'm already kind of walking in puddles, so I don't think I need any more clothing. If it, uh, if it really is a problem that is common amongst the guards, maybe we could add it to our repertoire. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. The other guard is still nodding, 
quite a bit, looking at over the sheets of paper, looking on the back of it, then looking back on the front. Yep, that all looks official. Do Turns I see back. anything in the store that looks like it would help with the chafing? What would you look for? Flowers, sorry. I don't know, like yes. uh, light material cloth that wouldn't rub as much from the armor, something to like. I don't know. Perception. Perception. Twelve. And there is a silken scarf on one of the racks. Hmm. I see the scarf, but don't think it will do them any good, so I'll leave it. Fair enough. All right, then. Now, I want to do a bit of business with you. Now is it all official? So, how about you pay me five gold and I won't trash the shop? Use you? Sorry, Ooh. let me rephrase that. Why don't you pay me five gold and I'll make sure the shop does not get trashed? Tempting, tempting. How about you leave us alone and I don't show you the end of this sword? <laughs> I'm assuming you draw the sword. Yes. Well, you're going to show me the end of the sword. <laughs> Can I not? She could, she could also make you feel it. Hmm. That is true, that is true. Well, come on. Time for us to go. Seems they don't want protection. No. We protect our own shop. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's your business. Alright. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. And they walk just out. See you, Bill. Just, uh, tap, just tapping my fingers on the counter. Said they're going to take bribes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. If, if you are trying to bribe someone, don't do it with just one measly gold piece. Let's make sure you do just one gold piece now, Kara. I already have. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know value of this thing in this place. Okay. I mean, I mean gold's quite expensive where we're from, right? I mean, true, but uh, it's not enough to bribe someone who holds that kind of position. So... It's, uh, like a golden ring. So, if I'm reading my social cues correctly, they are going to be back, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And sh probably when we're not here. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe Devlin can do something about it. So <laughs> uh, no, Devlin will probably just... Um, actually, I don't know if he would. Would he kill us? I, he's kind of implied that he would I mean, kill us. If he, he mentioned fireballing them. I mean, that's fine <laughs> if they are trying to trash the shop. But then again, he is the shop. So it's yes. him to protect himself. Well, um, I could just ask him. I'm uh, oh, start knocking on the counter. Devlin, I know you can hear me. He looks down at you from the sensor. Yes. Can you make it so that nobody except us can get into the shop while we're out? Yes, I can. That's lovely. Great. Yeah, that's. Seems and we like lock up shop uh, when we're not here. Yeah. All right, will or not is another matter. Well, if you don't, then there's a good possibility that they will trash the shop, which is you. Well, if they try to do something to me I don't like, I'll take care of them. Uh, honestly, that's the same difference. Yeah. We we also protect the merchandise. It would be a shame to see it damaged. So I am limited to the inside of here. 
Yeah, but they have to also get inside, so... But once they're inside, you look Ooh. them in the room and you Actually, can slowly... Actually, um, this is probably going to seem like a stupid question. Haha, <laughs> I know, a stupid question from Brandon. Um, if they sat to the sh fire to the shop from outside, considering this seems to be mostly made of wood, would it burn like a regular shop, or do you have, like, magic protect magical resistance against fire? Well, it wouldn't be like a normal wooden shop. But yeah, fair enough. Trying, and I probably would start to burn. Oh, okay, yeah, that doesn't sound good. Because he did say that you're limited to the inside of the shop, so if they set fire to it from outside, yeah, that could be an issue. What what happens if the shop is destroyed? Well, I'm not Do totally you? sure. Maybe I might still be here. Maybe I might be stuck to a part of this shop. My conscious trapped there forever for the rest of the time. And yeah, honestly, apart from anything else, uh, John, we would be trapped here indefinitely. Uh, yeah. This sounds extreme, guys, but can we just, I don't know, kill them next time? They, they seem pretty uh, ready to join us. The problem with that is that if you. Yeah, if, if we just murder guys and they don't come back, I can probably see where this is going. Right, yeah. self defense, they. Yeah. Yeah. There should be another option, I think. There is another option, because if you kill them, then they're going to send more people, and then we have to kill more, and then they will send in more people until. If they can't. any of you yeah, ever kill is... somebody? Does anybody know they were here? I mean, don't know. Probably. I mean, they probably, probably would go... Probably will now they've escaped. Uh, well, the thing is, if they were coming around here on a patrol, and they happened to disappear, they would probably send guys to see why that patrol didn't report back, discover the oh, shop, they just and blame then... it on the goblins? Hmm. Possibly, but then they would see the shop that looks suspicious and, well, it's whether the goblins would actually attack them. They seem pretty downtrodden when we actually saw them at the outpost, so I guess that might work for a while, but if we have to keep killing guards, eventually they're going to figure out that, yeah, this something's probably not going to be going right. I mean, I suppose, really, the best case scenario is that we just get the deer horn and leave before we have to concern ourselves with that. Yeah. Whatever means I get the item I want. If you're done, I'm going. Oh, oh, His head oh. Zips. Mr. Defloon? Yes. So, one last thing from me. Some nasty time with slimes last time. I don't suppose you know how we could deal with it better? What type of slime? Do we know what type of slime they were? They were very acidy, acidy, burning. Oh, yes. I'll just file that under with all the rest of them of acidy and burningy. Listen, I, I, I didn't travel the multi first, okay? I don't know what kinds of slime there are. It's blue. That honestly doesn't make the slightest bit of difference. No. I mean, to be fair, you're asking us to describe something that could technically be, well, have variants so all what? over the multiverse. Isn't the question itself a bit redundant given the limited experience we've had with it? Can I see anything around to like draw a quick picture of? Yeah, there's some parchments. I can literally use the back of the one that was just used. <laughs> yeah, I'll, Don't use a, a I'll try and draw a picture of a slab on back of that. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Roll well, me a sleight of hand check. I guess we could just say it's a shop sample in our life. Um, great, it's a uh, one. Wow. You kind of draw a circle. <laughs> that's... Uh, I what? see. That's actually... Where are you? Wait, that's actually... Wait, that's a perfect circle. How did you do that? First try to draw a slime. <laughs> <laughs> try to draw a slime. That's oh. not a slime. That's that, a uh, ball at best. That's it's that's not, not. It's not like a close. perfect. It's a perfect circle. You did well. I mean, task failed successfully. I guess. He disappears into the roof. All right, let's get some water. 
Uh, and... yep, that sounds good to me. I I'm also wondering why why are you that okay with killing somebody? Uh, both of you actually. Wait, I'm I'm not okay with killing anyone. No, no, it's you. I mean, Kara and uh, Miss Martinez. Oh, whoa, whoa. Who said that I was okay with killing them? Oh, you, you weren't really against it. To I wouldn't. They were assholes. Yeah, okay, but my yeah, but brother is an asshole. It... I don't want to kill him. Well, yeah. I, I'm not gonna. You have a brother? Together. Yeah, I have a brother and sister. Yeah. I mean, it's as I was saying to Devlin, it's it's a viable solution, but the thing is, blaming on the goblins, it depends if the goblins have the means. I mean, maybe one or two people, but three or four, five or six. Maybe if we sell them some more daggers. It would be very immoral to blame goblins and make them pay for it. We could also just arm them with weapons and send them to fight the guards. Uh, do we really want to incite a civil war in a world yeah, that so we... instead of, um, I don't know, playing it safe, and then again, I'm not saying we should blame it on the goblins, but instead of just trying to uh, be a neutral party in this endeavor, you want to incite a civil war. I thought it was the other option was killing. Guards. I think no. what, I think what you try oh. to say, Jun, is you want to take the attention away from us. But yeah, that's yeah. probably not the that's, best that's way to go. Like, yeah, but they, they're, they're not, occupied. Yeah, but yeah. they only have to point the finger back at us, and we're in the middle of two sides of a war. Then potentially, in, we are then in the middle of a place where we don't have to be. No, we are not, like, neutral. We are not with the goblins. We are not with the country. Good. Mm. So I think it's best to stay neutral Wait, and not pick a side. I, Brendan, Brendan, you managed to convince people you were nobility. Can you not like convince uh, the guard? Yeah, I mean they, they didn't. You just say something like, "Yeah, I'm the cousin from the uncle that is trying yeah, to claim the, it, but I'm also his." You know the whole thing. He yeah, did. the thing is, I they didn't really seem to twig at that at the time when they just told me to shut the fuck up. But then I don't <laughs> really think they were paying attention to me, so. Yeah, maybe next time I might say something. I mean, here's an idea, actually. Why don't... If they come back again, like, if we can find something of value to sell, I mean, maybe we just actually try to, you know, Friend just convince... Well, well, just to convince them that our words are worth are worth buying from, just actually give them some business. I mean, one for the mention that they needed some help with their chafing or something. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could just help them with that. I mean, it's still... Like, you know, we don't have to give them something for nothing, and we can give them something of value to them, and it gets them off our backs a bit. I mean, it's, I mean, it's better than... Do you think the slimes release sort something like jelly? I mean, to be, I mean, to no. be fair, we didn't really check, but didn't they kind of explode? Yeah. They just kind of dissipated from mm. existence. Because, like, uh, petroleum jelly fascinating I mean, helps get really, um, But then, attacked. Yeah, then again, doesn't... didn't the slimes, I don't know, burn the skin out of Kiara? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, didn't, didn't but know. Kiara also ate flowers and her throat hurt, so... Kiara, I mean... I'm not saying she's smart, but you want to rub the jelly onto a body. Mm -hmm. No, not my um, not, not like now. Now I'm thinking of it is stupid, but I was thinking of options that can. We we have to find a flower or a tree thing that that gives jelly like uh, substance. Uh, yeah, or some herbs or beeswax. Yeah, like like, like uh, aloe vera works. Yeah. Or uh, just fat. Actually, animal fat should do or oil. The thing is, I'd like to go over to the um, silk scarf I noticed earlier. Material okay. like this should help, like, penance for a moment, maybe? Rub less? It's nice and mm. soft to your touch. Feels very nice. Mm. I could just wear this. I'll put the scarf around my neck. <laughs> it fits quite nicely. Yeah. Also, oh, 
pretty uh, fun history fact. Armor changes based on the um, on how guns and weapons evolve. So ah. if we invent more deadly weapons, then they won't have to wear heavy armor. So As it doesn't help. We want to industrialize this world. I don't know how to make guns, but if I could, I would. Uh, do they even have like uh, what's it called again? Fire powder? powder? Gun what do you mean, gunpowder? Gunpowder, wow, fire powder. Oh. I mean, yeah, yeah it's hard on the gasp. <laughs> you just woke up, didn't you, Jun? Yeah, I did, but I'm also like terrible at translating things. Uh, I don't know if they have gunpowder. Um, maybe we should just Didn't focus on guy at the shop yesterday have something like that. <sighs> yeah, because he had firework, and yeah. that uses gunpowder. Yeah, so maybe there's something there. But um... Carl will be looking very pleased to remember this fact. So uh, before <laughs> anything else, do we want to go out and get this water? We can continue this conversation yeah. outside. Yeah. I think. I say you able to make your way down to the nearby river and able to fill up the water barrels easily enough and bring them back. Make oh. two trips, I think, is best. Okay. Alright. Okay, so, so, time passes. I've got to say an hour passes in total for you to do that. For one trip or two trips? For both trips. Both trips. Ah, oh, okay. Between you, you managed to get them down there. Yeah. Alright. It's a 90, 95 trolley here. Uh, uh, water is solved. So now back to the mines. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't say I'm thought about it, but. It is what it is. It is what it is. We gotta suck it up and move on. 